Today we're going to learn how to configure presets and tours in an IPPDZ EL 2MP L3X mini dome camera. Uh, for this demonstration, I uh, will be using Internet Explorer 10 uh, and using uh, Windows 8. So to start, I'm just going to log into Internet Explorer and input the default IP of the camera. You can see this interface look exactly the same as the uh, regular IP cameras and uh, you'll see once I logged in you'll see here on the right the uh, controllers to move the camera uh, as you notice I'm logged in directly to the camera I'm not logged into a, an MVR or anything like that um, to configure the camera you will need to do this at the camera itself meaning you have to log in to the camera you cannot do this from the MVR because none of these menus will show up on the MVR on the MVR you can move the camera but you cannot access any of its configurations. So I'm going to go to Setup. Under Setup, uh, here is the main interface where you can configure other features like white balance, exposure, noise reduction, day and night, focus, zoom. I mean, there's plenty of configurations right here. Um, just so you notice something here. Normally, the camera will come up like this because it's supposed to be mounted on the, the ceiling but I have it mounted on the flat surface so I have to flip the image for this demonstration so uh, from here you can move the camera if you wanted to you can you know adjust the camera as as you like uh, for the presets and tour we're gonna go to PTZ and we're gonna go to function so similar interfaces before so here what you have to do is you have to position the camera to start recording your presets. So to do so, just uh, for example, I want this to be my preset number one. So I leave it there and I click add and there you go. It's preset number one. You have to save the preset in order to go to the next one or in order to record the next one. So hit save. You will see that and then move the camera as you like to be your preset number two, for example, I wanted to be there, I wanted to zoom in, and I just click add and save. Oops, let's try it again. There you go. Then I'm going to zoom out. I can move the speed a little bit faster, increase the speed a little bit faster. I uh, click add and then save. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use three presets. Once uh, I s click saved on any of the presets or on each preset, I can just call each preset by just clicking on the name, the camera will move and you will see here it's calling preset number one. You have preset number two and preset number three. So everything is working very good. It's very simple to configure. Uh, next we're gonna go to tour. That's what we're gonna set based on those presets. So we're going to have to add the tour. We can name this tour, uh, let's say, demo tour. All right. Click anywhere to just X out of that menu. And that, that is the name of this tour. Now we need to add the presets to the tour. So we're going to click add under here, underneath it, it says add. And then you have number presets, the preset name, and the duration. So we're going to click add, and there you go. Preset number one, or uh, number one preset, the preset number one that I created. If you click on that number, you will see a drop down list, and then you can choose what other presets you want. So, and the duration is how long the camera is going to stay on that preset to uh, go to the next one. So from preset number one to preset, to preset number two, it's going to uh, stay there for 10 seconds and then go to the next preset and stay there for 10 seconds and so on and so forth. You can change that. The minimum is five. Just let's add another one. After you add all of the presets, you have to click save. Then um, the only thing you got to do is just hit start and the camera will start uh, going through the presets you created is very simple uh, you just go to live if you wanted to see what's going on you can see it from there right now it's on preset number two 
as you can see it goes to preset number three it's just as simple as that now there's another function that uh, a lot of customers just overlooked and it's very important because if someone moves a camera all right so if I'm here and I move the camera you want the camera to do something after you know you walked away on the ca off the camera so for that you're gonna have to configure what is called idle in motion so what's gonna happen is if you disable this or if you leave it disabled what's gonna happen if you move the camera nothing is gonna happen the camera is not gonna return back to the tour that you configured so to do so you have to go to functions under PTZ you go to idle motion then you click enable and then you tell it what to do in this case you have set up a tour so you want to check tour and there's your the tour, the tour number or the tour name that you created and then you can configure after you, you can configure a threshold so after a minute the camera will go back and do the tour that I configured just make sure you save it and that's what's gonna happen after the camera is uh, inactive or you stop uh, moving the camera from uh, from the main menu or from the menus of, of the PDZ the camera will reestablish itself uh, and, and will start doing the tour as it was configured before after uh, a minute so uh, that is very important for you to set and uh, I hope you like this uh, video demonstration and thank you for watching